Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we are going to be taking a look at some more TNT player traps, and that is because from the feedback in my last video, I have come to the conclusion that everybody has a little streak of British in them. You all love to just make your friend's day a little bit worse, so for that reason, I have designed three more TNT player traps. These ones are far more evil than the previous, so you can really rain on your friend's parade. And that's what we're all into, isn't it? Now just like the last one, this is going to be taking roughly the same format except I'm going to have two minutes to explain each design simply because these are a little bit more complicated than the other ones. But hopefully I can do a good job at doing that and this video will be fast paced and interesting throughout. So without further ado, let's crack on with the first one. Now this first design is arguably the most evil, it's got the biggest firepower and it's also incredibly difficult to disarm. If your friend even attempts to do it, he's probably going to rearrange his body parts, preferably off his body. There's no pussyfooting around on this one, we're talking boom, splat, fresh wall paint, red, yeah. Now if you walk into the minecarts, you're going to blow up. If you destroy any of the blocks surrounding the minecarts, you're going to blow up. If you break one of the minecarts, you're going to blow up. The only way to disable this one is by fiddling about with the redstone, and if your friend's not very experienced, then he's probably going to blow up. And I'll show you what that looks like right now. We stand here, and there we go. That's a big old crater. Like, that's not messing around at all. So you want to get things started with a 3 by one area, you want to place a hopper down like this, a comparator with a block, redstone torch, block up like this, and then a redstone torch there. That is going to be your floor level, and this is obviously where your TNT minecarts are going to be going, so you just want to put your activator rail down, but do not place any TNT minecarts, because they will explode later on. Then you just want to place a regular rail down there, and a minecart with a hopper down beneath, and that will pick up any of the destroyed TNT minecarts that your friend tries to break. And then up here, you just want to place a piece of string, that will cause an update to this activator rail once we add in the bud. Now we can just surround this part with blocks, bar the furthest one away, there we go. Damn it! Then you want to place a dispenser running into the activator rail, cover up these blocks here, put a bunch of TNT minecarts into that dispenser, nice and easy, then flick this lever a couple of times and you'll see that you'll get a bunch of TNT minecarts, then take out the dispenser and replace that block and take out that lever there. Now for the last part, the bud switch, you want to place a redstone power block there, a block like this with a lever and redstone dust like that, then take out this block here and you'll see that redstone dust is on, but it hasn't turned on the activator rail and that is because the activator rail is not updating. But there we go, that is it, you are done. Now this design comes in fairly high on the evil list simply because it's virtually undetectable, especially if your friend is using carpets, then he has got absolutely no chance of finding this one out. So he's just walking along his pathway, he steps over this and he hears the sound of pistons and igniting TNT. What tomfoolery! And just like the others, this leaves behind a fairly impressive crater. So I'd start working on your apology now, mate. Now this design is incredibly easy to recreate, you just want to place a power block like this, a lever here and redstone dust like that, and then you can just place some TNT like this. Now what you want to do is take out this block and you'll see this redstone dot is technically powering the TNT, but the TNT hasn't realised it yet, until of course you cause it a block update. So, to use that mechanic, we can just place a piece of redstone ore up there, with carpet on top to cover it up, and then do the same thing once again. So, a lever here, TNT like that, and in fact, you could probably paste a little bit more, just so your friend really gets a real surprise, and then you just take out that, and our TNT is armed and ready. And just to prove to you that this works, when we stand on it, you'll see that that TNT becomes activated, and well, you've got no chance on that one. Now this final design is yet another adaption to the some things are too good to be true trap, but it works like a charm, and it fools pretty much everyone, so you may, he is walking around his base, strutting his stuff, and then he sees this diamond block, he takes it out thinking, you know what, that's really nice, but then, oh my god, what have I done? If he had a base, or limbs, he probably doesn't have either anymore. This is by far the most powerful TNT player trap in this selection, and it's also very simple to build, so let's get on with it. 
So you want to get things started by placing a block like this and torches on every single side. I'm not doing this very well, am I? Jesus. So on every single face apart from the top, then on top of each of those torches, you just want to place a dispenser facing into the middle like this. They're really difficult to place, as I'm sure you can imagine. And then you just want to place a piece of redstone dust right in the middle. And you'll see that starts up a rapid firing burnout clock. So you just want to place a block like this with a redstone torch on the side of it. And there we go. That is your contraption done. As soon as that block is removed, it will start up the clock and TNT will start firing. So now all you have to do is fill each of these dispensers with copious amounts of TNT ready to blow the pants of your friend. You know what? I can't get enough of doing that. There is something inherently fun about seeing all that TNT coming in and then just spraying out everywhere and com just creating some form of Big Bang. That is a lot of fun. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for for today. Despite it being around about 40 degrees Celsius in my room, I really did enjoy recording this video. There's just something so fun about blowing things up. I cannot get enough of it. Now, if you did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.